Hi, I'm Glenn Chisholm. I'm the uh, one of the co-founders and chief product officer here at Obsidian. I'm here today to talk about you know SaaS security and in particular SaaS session hijacking. SaaS session hijacking is a problem inside SaaS environments where the attacker looks to to steal the token that you access the SaaS environment with. So typically speaking, what's happened is we think about the deployment of identity providers and SSO as a way of managing the SaaS sprawl, utilizing and controlling who has access to what. As a user, I'm gonna to talk to that identity provider and that'll give me the ability to log in. When I log in, I'm gonna get an MFA push that allows me to then verify I am who I am. Now I have a smorgasbord of applications that I might have access to. Once I choose one of those, that identity provider is gonna verify that I'm allowed to have access and establish a session between that and myself. So at this point, I have a token between myself and the identity provider and I have a session between myself and the application. I'm logged in to Microsoft 365 or G Suite or Salesforce or Workday. Previously, attackers would focus on trying to steal my username and password. But now we have MFA, single sign-on. It's become less valuable for the attacker trying to steal username and password. So what they start to think about is how they can gain access to this environment with the least effort possible. So by stealing the session token that exists in one of these two environments, I can access the environment as if I was the validated user. So I may do that by trying to install malware down here on this user device. If I can install malware on that device or insert something into the browser, I can steal the session token directly from the endpoint. I can steal all their tokens. Then I can reuse them. Also, I can focus on phishing this user. I can convince this user to talk through a proxy that I control to that identity provider and allow me to steal the token. You might think that MFA saves you in this situation. It doesn't. Because I'm proxied through, when the identity provider pushes the MFA, I'm still gonna accept it because I'm the user. I'm gonna say, yes, I do wanna get access. But now that session travels through the attacker's infrastructure and gives me access to the entire environment. So with this token, the problem I've got is, if I steal the token to the identity provider, the attacker might have access to every application I have access to. This may only last for a few hours. If I steal the token to the application, the attacker has access to that application. This might last 30 days, 14 days, seven days. It allows the attacker to be inside the environment, to be able to maintain their access, and to avoid all the complications of MFA and SSO. Obsidian understands your entire environment. It understands who accesses what, from where, when, it builds an understanding through a large graph structure that represents your organization. Once it has that, we can build models to allow us to detect things like session hijacking, token theft, and token reuse, and make sure that this attack is never successful in your environment. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more, please take a look at our website, obsidiansecurity.com.